Akuji, the Heartless. From my childhood, I'd been told that only the strong survive. That the strong will rule. That power is the reward of a virtuous life. I led a virtuous life. I'd mastered the art of fighting. My weapons were an extension of my will. For spiritual power, I studied the ways of voodoo. The rituals of blood sacrifice to channel the gods and unleash their wrath upon my enemies. I was to wed Keisha, eldest daughter of the Tonko tribe. The marriage of our tribes would have secured my family's control over the ruling class of Amora. The wedding rites were interrupted by my sudden murder. Though my life was taken by bitter treachery, my struggles did not end. Sometimes death is just the beginning. Akuji, collect 100 voodoo dolls to increase your health meter. Fire burst. You've discovered a voodoo spell. You'll find these scattered across the underworld. Each shade of spell has a unique and powerful effect. But beware. You will only be able to keep your spells in the world in which you found them. Akuji, gather 100 of these symbols and you will gain an additional life. Just gathered a soul of your ancestor. They are few in number, but vital to your quest. Soul Seeker.
have the Kuji. Be aware you will have no need for these when your health meter is full. Keisho? It was your brother, Orad. He murdered our wedding guest. He cast the spells that entrapped me. His minions ripped your heart out and condemned you to wander the underworld. Our families are preparing for war, and your brother is preparing to sacrifice me to the gods. You must escape and stop him. Your only hope is to journey to Navo, the land that connects the realms of the dead with our world. You must seek an audience with Baron Samedi. Only he can help you. To reach Navo, you must find a spirit gate. My powers are weakening, Ikuji. You must be swift. Place the Noah on an altar to open the gate.
Kalamakuji. It seems that at least one member of your family has honor. I thank you for cleansing Kokitas of the dregs of your legacy. Baron Samedi, although I come to request your charity, I do not suffer lightly your insults to the honor of my family. Nor I your insolence. However, I can see that you are well-meaning, although perhaps misguided. The legacy that I refer to is one that has placed you in your current predicament. Your family, Okuji, is evil. They have always been evil. In death, their spirits taint the realms of the dead. I will strike a deal with you. If you cleanse the underworld of your ancestors, I will allow you to return to Mamora and save your precious Keisho. Will you help to purge the underworld of the souls of your family? Even if I agree, how can one man empty the underworld of all of the souls of his ancestors? You need not find them all. Some are more corrupt than others. Explore all the lands of each vestibule of hell and bring me the most powerful souls. If you have collected enough souls, I will allow you to meet the Warden of the Vestibule. If you can defeat the Warden, I will send you deeper into your quest. You've only four Vestibules, Akuji. Surely you can do this. I have opened the door that leads to Pluton. After gathering the souls of your ancestors, you must destroy the lightning spires that guard the Spirit Gate. Then you may return here. I might have argued with the Baron when he slandered my family, or even killed him, but my mouth still retains the bitterness of the unforeseen evil of my own brother. I saw the truth of the Baron's words and bit my tongue. The warm taste of blood helped turn my anger to its true target, my ancestors.
pure spirit, Akuji. Capable of your next task. I have opened the door to Kalos. When you've captured the essence of your ancestors, you will need to find the ruins of the Temple of Gorei. Inside these ruins, you will encounter Vastu, Gorei's minion. Defeat Vastu, and you will gain access to the Spirit Gate. Then return here. <laughs>